The movie opens with a teenager named Nura gazing at the breasts of naked ladies in a bathhouse. Although he is accustomed to these things, but this time they serve to pique his macho desires. Then we are taken into a flashback to a few days ago in a bazaar of Tunisia with our protagonist, Nura, a teenage boy with two friends who are older than him. They are hanging around and courting women in the bazaar, and Nura follows them. One day, his friends ask him if he's ever seen a girl's private parts, and the innocent Nura says no. They mock him, saying if he hasn't seen them, he hasn't seen anything since they are the ultimate destination for men and that no man can end up living without a woman. While courting women in the bazaar, they are seen by a relative of Nura, who tries to pursue them, but they manage to flee the scene. Afterward, they arrive at the beer shop, where Nora works part-time as a delivery boy. The shop owner gives him a bottle of wine to deliver to Sali, one of their regular customers. Sali works as a cobbler but also sings at various events, such as birthday parties and weddings. He is very gentle with Nura, which is why he used to visit his shop regularly. While conversing with him, Sali is approached by a lady who has come to take her sandal, which she had given him to mend. Sali gives her the sandal, but she tells him she forgot to bring the money. He realizes she wants to pay in another way, so he takes her inside his shop, shuts the door, and begins flirting with her, with Nura waiting outside. Later that day, as Nura returns home, his dad begins to slam him because he has been informed by their relative that Nura was wooing ladies in the bazaar along with his adult friends. Furthermore, to keep him from doing so again, his father employs him as a sweeper in a hair salon. The saloon owner treats him harshly, causing him to complain about that to his mother. His mother requests forgiveness from his father, who forgives him, and he quits working at the saloon. One day, he and one of his friends sit in Sali's shop, and he begins to sing for them. Meanwhile, some men, holding his second friend, approach them. They inform them that they have caught him courting women in bazaars and that he will be punished. Nura flees quietly and returns with the wine shop owner, who is revealed to be one of the biggest mobsters in the town. Both squads are about to clash when Nura's aunt, Latifa, shows up on the scene. She is a stunning woman, and all the men start looking at her, forgetting that they were about to fight with each other a couple of minutes ago. Latifa is staying at Nura's house, due to which his father is uneasy because she is very stunning and he is unable to handle his manly desires due to her. He tries to convince his wife to request Latifa leave the house, but she refuses, saying she is her sister and can stay as long as she wants. The following noon, Nura goes to his father's shop to deliver him lunch, but when he enters, he notices his father enjoying himself with a lady. He goes to the storeroom to leave the lunchbox, and there he finds some adult magazines hidden by his father. He tucks them inside his shorts and walks away quietly. Then he rushes over to his friend and shows them the magazines. The three of them begin to enjoy looking at the nudes of various ladies in the magazine. Even though everything is new to Nura, he still finds enjoyment in what he sees. After seeing those nudes, he becomes more inquisitive and decides to see women's naked bodies in real life. His friend informs him that he is still quite young and can accompany his mother to public baths, where he can see some naked women. He likes his idea and approaches his mother, telling her that he wants to go to the public bath like they used to. She takes him to the public bath, but since Nura appears to be older than his age, the proprietor refuses to let him in. However, after a bit of explanation, his mother manages to persuade her that he is still a kid, so she lets him in, while taking a bath, Nura notices several women taking baths, but all of them have covered their vaginal areas, and he can only see their breasts. After his bath, he approaches his friends and informs them that he has seen women's breasts in baths. His friend informs him that he has not yet seen the most fantastic thing about the woman. Hearing this, he becomes even more intrigued and tells them that he will see it the next time he goes to the bath. In the evening, when he gets home, he finds his relative at their house with a young maid. Because his mother can't properly clean the entire house by herself, they hire her. The maid introduces herself as Jamila. Nura's mother informs her of all household duties, and she begins to carry them out. Since Latifa is a stunning unmarried woman, all the men in the town try to entice her by presenting her with precious gifts through Nura. But Nura is certain that Latifa does not like any other men besides Sali, with whom she was in a relationship. Sali frequently mentions Latifa to Nura and requests that he do him a favor by bringing him Latifa's chewed bubble gum. Nura does so and somehow manages to bring Latifa's chewing gum to him. Sali begins chewing that bubble gum and starts singing a song for Latifa out of love. Following that, he hands him a love letter for Latifa, which he delivers to her. When he enters the room, she is wearing her bra, which seduces Nura a bit, but he knows Latifa belongs to Sali, so he sideways his flirtatious thoughts about her. The next day, he returns to the public bath with his mother, but this time the proprietor lady tells her that her colleague saw him gazing at women the last time he bathed here, so he isn't allowed to enter this time. Meanwhile, Latifa arrives there, and the two ladies manage to persuade the proprietor yet again to let Nura bathe here. While bathing, the water bucket runs out of water, so his mother instructs him to refill it. 
He goes to refill the bucket and starts wandering around the bath parlor, looking for any girl who has exposed her vaginal parts. When he finally sees a naked girl and is about to see her vaginal part, he is apprehended by the proprietor's spy. They kick him out of the bathhouse, and his mother and Latifa are both embarrassed by what he was doing. He, too, is ashamed and cannot look at his mother. The next day is his younger brother's circumcision ceremony, which he avoids due to embarrassment. He also flees his room so that no one can force him to partake in the ceremony. His mother tries to find him but fails, so she instructs Jamila to look for Nura and help him change his dress. While looking for Nura, Jamila eventually finds him sleeping in her bed. She believes that waking him up is wrong, so she lets him sleep and informs his mother that he is not at home. When the ceremony is over, Nura sneaks out of Jamila's room and heads to Sali's house to share his grief with him. He arrives at his house and peeks inside through a window, where he is shocked to see Latifa inside having fun with Sali. He is relieved that the two old lovers have finally reunited. He then returns home without bothering them. When he arrives home, he notices Jamila and his aunt sleeping on the desk. Seeing Latifa and Sali having fun has already stimulated his masculine desires, so he can't help but get close to her. He tries to unbutton her shirt, but she turns over, frightening him, and he walks away without doing anything. The next day, he sits on the terrace, thinking about how he ruined his reputation just to see girls' private parts. He is embarrassed and regrets what he has done. Even though his mother has pardoned him, he is no longer allowed in the bathhouse after a few days, while leaving for the bath parlor, his mother spots him sitting in the yard. Nura hasn't taken a bath since that incident and is now looking really filthy, so his mother orders Jamila to bathe him. As soon as Nura's mom and aunts leave the house, Jamila starts bathing him. When she is finished, Nura informs her that it is now her turn. He informs her that she, too, is looking dirty and requires a bath. Jamila hesitates at first but then takes off her clothes and puts on a bath towel. Nura informs her that she must remove all of her clothes or she will not be properly cleaned. He continues by saying that he had previously witnessed many nude girls in bath parlors, so there is nothing new to him. Jamila pauses for a while and then lies down to undress, but as she is about to do so, Nura's mother returns home because the bath parlor was closed. When she sees them in this position, she begins yelling at them. She informs Jamila that today is her last day working at their home and that she has been fired due to her conduct. When Nura's dad learns about this, he becomes extremely angry and starts bashing him. After being beaten by his father and exhausted from the happenings of the day, Nura enters his room to nap. However, he is surprised to find Jamila naked on his bed. She begins to seduce him, and knowing that this is her last day here, she starts to get romantically involved with Nura and satisfy her desires. They have fun all night. The very next morning, overjoyed that he had finally gotten what he desired, Nura began to stroll over rooftops out of enjoyment. Later that day, Nura's relative arrives at their home to pick up Jamila. Nura's happiness turns to sorrow as he realizes that this is his final encounter with Jamila. He was willing to repeat the adventure of that night again, but he is unable to do anything. On the other hand, Jamila looks completely satisfied and gives Nura a lustful smile, indicating that she enjoyed their one-night stand a lot, and this is where the movie ends. I hope you enjoyed the recap. If so, then give this video a thumbs up. And yes, if you want to be the first to know about my new videos, hit the subscribe button right now. It may seem worthless to you, but it is a huge motivator for me to keep going. I'll see you in my next video. Have fun and keep watching the movie explainer.